First up is crab rice. This is a different variation of crab rice you may have had in an Asian restaurant. This is not Asian inspired. It's more like Southern inspired. Um, you have your crab meat, blue crab meat pre preferably, white rice, chop up your onions, your bell peppers. You can get this mostly in your mom and pop restaurants in downtown Charleston or sometimes the soul food kitchens in Charleston will have it. Um, I've never had it any other place besides Asian restaurants um, like when I was on the west coast. The next one up number two is egg and rice. That's it. Just egg and white rice. You scramble your eggs and then you add the white cooked white rice to it. And this is one of the staples that you know we grew up on eating for breakfast or lunch or whatever. It's just one of those things that you don't hear too much about because when you hear egg and rice, you hear the Asian version, like you know, egg fried rice, but this is just egg and rice without all of the Asian influences on there. And if you can't cook this, we grew up, if you can't cook this, then you really can't cook. It's very easy to cook. Next up, number three, shark steak, fried shark steak. A lot of people um, shy away from shark meat because I guess I hear that it has toxins in the skin or what have you. But no, this one, just go down to your seafood market, get the steaks, you know, take it home, fry it up as you would any type of fish, you know, with your cornmeal or flour or what have you. Um, but yeah, this is very good. Some people broil it. I prefer my fry. Has very great flavor, very great taste. And again, this is one something you can get from your mom and pop restaurant. Number four on the list is garlic crab. This it has become a popular as of maybe the last four or five years. It's just basically, you know, you steam your blue crabs or, or snow crab legs. People in Charleston, the Geechee folks, they prefer the, snow, um, they prefer the blue crab. And, you know, some people have just the garlic mix. Some people have the garlic sauce. Or some people just, you know, just variations. Different people do it from home differently. Different restaurants do it differently. You know, you can find these a lot in the mom and pop restaurants throughout Charleston downtown. Number five on the list is lima beans. Some people call this, when I lived on the west coast, they call it lima bean soup. We really don't call it a soup because it's too thick to be a soup. It's more heartier and it's, instead of serving it in a bowl, we'll just put it on a plate on top of a bed of white rice. Because in the Gullah Geechee community, they eat a lot of rice. I mean a lot of white rice. So rice goes with like a lot of things, everything. So when I was on the west coast eating lima beans, I would always have it with rice and people looked at me like I was crazy because they thought it was a soup. No, it was it, it wasn't soup. Number six on the list is okra soup. Now I have never seen anybody outside of Charles and people cook this. There's different variations of it. You know, you could have the shrimp in there, smoked meat smoked sausages. I love, I prefer mine with the smoked sausage and ham hock or neck bones. But you can cook it any other anyway. I think the seafood kind of takes away from it because it almost makes it seem like a gumbo when you add seafood to it. I don't know, that's just my opinion. Um, I, this, I don't know if they serve in the restaurants or not. I haven't seen it. Number seven on the list is red rice. You start off with white rice you add your tomato paste or tomato sauce or you know fresh cut tomatoes you cook them you cook the rice first and then you add the tomato mixture to it and then you put it in the oven and bake it and then of course you got your bell peppers onions some people put um, chopped ham in there uh, maybe bacon just depends on who's cooking it you know everybody has their own variation of it I, I like mine just you know how you see in this picture okay number eight is salmon and grits. Um, normally when we do the salmon and grits, we don't use the um, salmon salmon uh, steaks per se, but we'll just get the salmon out the can. And that's the way we've always done it. I've came across, as of late, you know, upscale restaurants like to use the salmon pat, the salmon um, steaks, instead of just, you know, the ones out the can, because I guess you're paying, get what you pay for. But it's, it's very good if somebody knows how to cook it. It's a very good dish. I recommend trying it. Okay, number nine on the list is she crab soup. Yes, if there's no crab in it, it's more of a bisque. But if you go to an upscale restaurant, they'll, they may or may not have the crab meat in there. I mean, it, it takes away from the name she crab, but they'll call it she crab bisque. But there's no there's no influence of crab in there. 
if it's a bisque it's just it's just more like a soup per se or like a lobster bisque sometimes there's meat in there but you know for the most part if it's call it a bisque there's no meat in there she crab soup is very good I recommend trying it if you're ever in Charleston South Carolina last but not least number 10 shrimp and grits this is one of my favorites the way we do it um, at my parents house is we up my mother was stew the shrimp this is more like broiled shrimp you know steamed my mother was stew the shrimp and then put it on the on a um, bed of grits that's one of the best things um, one of my favorites out of all of these things egg and rice <laughs> is egg and rice then shrimp and grits and then everybody else just falls in where they get in I recommend it when you come to Charleston check out some of these good cuisines and I'm out of here thank you for stopping by